Well, hello, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the changes that are upcoming to the AI 102, designing and implementing a Microsoft Azure AI solution exam. So Microsoft just announced that they are changing the English version of this exam on October 25th, 2022. So you do have some time to prepare, but you shouldn't need too much time to prepare because I don't think the changes are going to be a big deal. Now, if we look at the skills measured, the exam is broken into five major sections and the particular percentages that hasn't changed. So it's the same five sections and the same five sets of percentages. So let's look at the changes and then I've got this up side by side here. On the left is the current version of the exam and on the right is the future version of the exam. So this entire first section on Azure Cognitive Services in general hasn't changed. So all of the topics are identical. Scrolling down to the computer vision section, the second section, there are a couple of subtle changes. And if you've been paying attention to some of the announcements, they might not be a surprise. We can see here that uh, one of the requirements is to identify landmarks and celebrities by using the computer vision API. On the future version of the exam, it says identify landmarks. So Microsoft has removed the requirement to identify celebrities. As you may know, Microsoft is restricting the ability to use the computer vision API for facial matching. And that includes uh, recognizing celebrities. So this requirement is no longer on the exam. If we scroll down into the facial information section, we can see that the analyzed facial attributes has also been removed. And this is another part that is restricted. So the uh, eyebrow shape and the nose shape and all that sort of uh, uh, attributes of a face, you can no longer get access to those using the face API without permission. So that's not on the exam. The rest of the stuff in terms of the custom model is all there. <clears throat> Nothing changed in terms of object detection. Microsoft has changed the concept of the video indexer to what's called video analyzer. And so they just reworded the requirement to use video indexer to video analyzer. The requirements are the same. Um, you will see that the customize the person model. So this person model is no longer on the exam. Okay, so this again has to do with uh, restricting, identifying who the people are who are speaking on a video has been uh, removed from, as from the API itself. We get into natural language processing. We can see that the first section is the same. The second section is the same. Translation is also the same. Building the language model is the same. Um, optimizing a language model is the same language understanding model hasn't changed either. And we get into the question answering solution. Um, those haven't changed as well. The final section we have is the knowledge mining. So we have all of the cognitive search stuff, AI enrichment pipeline, the knowledge store, cognitive search and uh, indexing. Again, all of this has changed. It's nothing that's relating to facial recognition or voice recognition. Finally, conversational API, the AI solutions. We can see again, side by side, that having to do with logic for a bot or brought framework, uh, none of that has changed as far as I can see here. So major changes have to do with face API, the, uh, the facial detection for celebrities and the video indexer now being called video analyzer. So these changes should be fairly manageable, actually removing a couple of items from the exam and just rewording um, when you're talking about video indexer to video analyzer. That's pretty straightforward. So 
that's the extent of the changes of the AI 102 exam. I wish you the best of luck. I do have a course on AI 102 on Udemy. You'll find the link in the description. And of course, I'll be updating that course uh, to remove the couple of topics. There's already a note in there about the changing of the, AP, the API permissions uh, that's already existing within the course. And so um, hopefully that's uh, helpful to you. This has been Scott Duffy from getcloudskills.com. Thanks again, and I wish you a wonderful day.